welcome to the channel i'm charlie today i got another c class basically engine management light on and the at blue sign on customer came from hastin i think around 80 90 miles away from mass however we'll see what we can do for the this job also this car went to the another garage also well i think two garages he mentioned went to the two garages they reset the light it's not success it's come back we'll see what's going on inside i'm going to start the car first right you can see engine management light on and another one inside engine start not possible in 364 miles right and the next thing i'm not going to plug in my computer first of all i'm going to check at blue metering go to the home service okay and at blue see at the moment cannot measure fluid level right i think this is the problem for the engine management light on and i feeling sometime the dpf also clog up because system not working at the moment system about doing the job however first thing i'm going to switch off the car and i'm going to check at blue level first of all basically i can't check that blue level how i'm going to do i'm going to top up at blue at least 10 liters already 10 liters there when you're going to use that blue use proper correct at blue if you don't know how to check that blue i'll already upload the video i'll mention link in the below then you can find out how you going to check at blue good or bad look like this car very thirsty right 10 liters gone i'm going to add another 5 liters next step i'm going to start the car switch off start and going to the at blue metering still it say cannot count level right okay i'm going to start the car now i need to go with the computer I'm going to take a faulty code under engine control module. Right. Remaining driving distance limited due to malfunction at blue system. Engine cannot start. Okay. The control unit at blue has malfunction. Okay. And the other one. At blue system cylinder one at blue system cylinder bank one has malfunction right okay could be this is the problem I feeling because of the bank one mean the at blue sensor injector but however I feeling injector not doing the job or could be injector hole block then the injector can't do the job himself as like other videos first of all i'm going to underneath and check what's going for the injector hole 
if you need to clean i'll clean and i'll come back to you right at the moment i know the faulty codes however i'm going to take a picture for my future reference right that's it at the moment next step i'm going to jack up the car this side underneath here a blue sensor located i'm going to remove that blue sensor and have a look what's going on for the at blue sensor hole this one also as usual story we already you saw the before now you can see in the flow crystallizing see yeah you can see here yeah we already clean and we'll install back everything and we'll start from the again done the inject the clean then after that i'm going to the engine control module read faulty codes right there is a four faulty code we know as it is and the also 364 at the dashboard however first of all i'm going to exit from here and special function and after that we have to go reset learn value of add blue component press yes continue yeah uh, i can't do that one because i think sometime there is a faulty codes that's why it's not allowed to delete i'll try to reset again if it not special function reset learn value component at blue meter value continue okay yeah it's not allowed yes go back then after that i'm going to reset all warning light first go back and clear faulty codes yes complete again read faulty codes still all faulty codes they are it's not allowed to clear right electrical fault right however i'm going to leave it all sign up and going to continue for a motorway journey 20 miles and we'll see what happened now it's zero right went to the motorway journey you can see still light there and we'll see what happened to the it's 20 miles motorway journey we'll see what happened to the reading still there yeah it's not countering then i'm going to the computer read faulty codes you can see as it is four code code for the 
at blue try to clear I'm not thinking it's going to be cleared yeah still there however look like to me this car need to update software basically this car has a electrical fault however I'm going to check tank again and go for a software updating Welcome back to channel again. We done the software update and we clean DPF. Now when I go to at blue system early it couldn't read anything. Now they identify 6900 miles in the tank. Basically it's reading the figures. However, I'm not going to stop from here. Basically, this customer came from very far. Then I want to make sure vehicle all good before I hand over. Then I'm going to shoot to the motorway journey and come back. Again, I'm checked with the computer everything. Okay, if it's okay, I'm going to call to the customer and I'll show you what's going on there. Now vehicle has a full power. Yes, after clean the DPF, it has a full power now. Went to the road test and just came a couple of time switch off switch on at the moment no any funny warning light next step i'm going to check with the computer take a high speed scan Right, at the moment I can see under engine management nice and green, that's a good sign. Right, scan complete. Double check with the ECM, any fault code left there. Read fault codes. Right, you can see no fault codes. Nice after the road test, nothing there, and also I'm going to check the at blue level. You can see at blue level, right off maximum 6900. That's one also good sign before we couldn't read at blue level o metering right exit okay done the job right now you know what's going on this car this car came two weeks before at blue related four faulty codes on however i'll check the live data and after that i clean underneath at blue injector hole you all saw that one then after that i try to reset the lights and try to feed the figures i couldn't do it somewhere not right then after that i go a little bit deeper and finally we found software 
problems then after that i contact mercedes and we will arrange to update software through online system however finally i update the software then after that all fine light all disappeared and after that you saw the at blue level also measuring level we can read it it came 6900 something so then after that we check with the live data also we got a little bit high shoot level in a dps basically as we know dps partially blocked then after that i got the approval from customer finally sort out that problem clean the dpf then after that went to the motorway came back check with the computer no fault codes all fine yeah that's the summary of this car however this car i kept two weeks because this customer very patient customer need to go until end and me too need to go until end if some scenarios if customer rush sometimes we couldn't do our jobs take our own time that's mean if i rush and do the job that's mean i can't do the proper job and the second thing if some reason this customer say oh no charlie i need a car blah 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 i know car is very important for the customers but however like these scenarios we need to keep a little bit longer because of him i can make this job otherwise i'm going to say i'm sorry better to take to the dealer and he had to spend double of the price of mine but however because of his patient i'm success then after that car all fine i'm success he's happy if you have a like that problem you know what to do if you want to contact me any weekdays you can contact me between five and six thanks for watching see you in the next video